To do an email blast in Sales Nexus, you first need to perform a couple of administrative duties. And we'll do that to get the system set up by going to the Campaign tab here at the top. And then within the Campaign tab, you want to click on Mailing List Admin. And here, you'll need to fill out your company information. This is required by the CAN spam legislation that it be included at the bottom of your email with the unsubscribe link. So you fill out your company name, address, city, state, zip, and if you want to have a logo appear on the opt-out screen that people see when they click to, log to opt out of your list, uh, you can point to that image here. And then save that information and SalesNexus will automatically append the unsubscribe link and your address to the bottom of your email so you don't have to uh, add it to each and every email yourself. Also, you can create more than one list to manage uh, from an opt-in and opt-out point of view. So uh, as an example, you might have a, a list that you use for marketing messages and a separate list that you use for important messages about your service for customers uh, so that your customers could opt out of your marketing messages but stay opted into the important messages about your service. <clears throat> to create new mailing lists, you click Add New List here. For your first time, all your new contacts will be opted in to your default list initially. So that's probably the best one to use. But be sure and fill out your company information and hit save here. And that information is saved. Then, to actually send out your email, you want to first look up the right list of people. So I'll go to the Look Up tab, and we can look up any list to send the email to. And that's one of the advantages of SalesNexus. We don't have to send an email to everybody that's opted into this particular list. We can look up subsets, or we can look up everybody in the database. So I might want to go to my ID status and find all of my prospects or clients. Or I might want to look up everybody in Atlanta. Let's go with clients. So now the system's come back with 13 people in my little demo database here. Then what we need to do is we need to create a current lookup. That's an important term in SalesNexus. And you do that through any search that you might do, a lookup or a search. And then when you click View next to one of those contacts, the entire list that we looked up becomes your current lookup. So if you go up here to the arrows, and hover over those arrows, just put your mouse above them without clicking, it'll tell you one of 13 or two of 13. So that list of clients is still our working list or our current lookup. So now that we're on one of these contacts, we'll click the letters tab here, and then navigate to the emails and letter templates folder and find the email that you want to send. If you've not yet created your email, then um, go ahead and take a look at the video on creating your first email template um, to show you how. But we'll just open up this My Email by double-clicking it. And right here, I want to select Current Lookup. That's telling the system, I want to send this email to everyone that I looked up. In other words, all the clients, the 13 people that I looked up. Then you want to put in a subject. And down at the bottom, you have some options. You can turn on tracking. That means track the opens and clicks. This, of course, is only for our complete subscribers. Um, and then you can turn on notify open and notify clicks. So if you turn on the notifications of either opens or clicks, that means every time somebody opens or clicks on your email, you'll get a task on your task list 
letting you know that that particular person opened or clicked your email. So if you're going to send the email out to a large list, you might want to be careful about that and just do the tracking because you'll be able to go into reports and look at lists of who opened and clicked on the emails uh, as more of an administrative function. But if you want to be notified proactively, then uh, turn on the notifications by clicking here. And that's it. We're ready to send it out. Hit send, and the system will warn you, you're, do you want to email to 13 contacts, or it might say 1,300 or whatever. So you'll know if you're sending it out to a list of people. And if you say OK, you get this message, emails have been successfully queued, and their statuses will be reflected in the Notes History tab after they're sent. So in the case of a large list, what you'll see is an activity will first appear in the Activities tab for every one of these contacts. For all 13 of these people, as I thumb through them, we'll see that same activity. That's the task for our system to send out that email. In a few minutes, you'll see a history record created for each of these people so that um, you'll see that the email was actually sent. And then you'll also begin to see those histories change as people open and click on those emails. And of course, our system will automatically append the unsubscribe information and automatically opt out anyone that unsubscribes having received this email. Also, it will automatically mark any email addresses that bounce as a do not send so they won't be sent to that email again.